Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. I'm Spike Viper and now we can add aliens. No, no, but legitimately we, we can now add alien life to any planet we want. Let's go ahead and get one that just makes absolutely no sense to see if we can still do it. Let's get Planet 9 and see if I can put frickin' civilization on it. Probably not. I I'm gonna say this is probably a no, but it would be a little bit funny if I could. Come on. Come on, give me the ability. Where- where is my ability? Are you kidding me? How dare? How dare? Wow, I'm highly offended. Oh wait, maybe it's in here. Oh, 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 oh no, it's- it's not. It's not. Nope, now I'm depressed. Now I'm highly depressed. I'm suffering from several deep pressions. It's, it's terrible. Let, let's see. Let's just get a random rocky planet because I know that'll work. Okay, so we got this this icy, beautiful Minax. That sounds like a drug. It sounds like something they'd prescribe you if you have like a failing kidney. Oh look! Look at that! Look, lights! Boom! We've got life on the planet. Isn't that exciting? Can I make them like super bright? Illuminate. If habitable. <gasps> oh, that's neat. That's really neat. And you can set it to Earth. Nice. This is really just Earth in disguise. Procedural. I like that. Look at how pretty that looks. Ah, oh, I should be able to change the... You can set a different random seed, which is kind of neat. Oh, look how big that city is. I, I do like that there's random seeds you can do. I just wish you could change the colors because, like... Maybe not every species is going to use the same light color. Maybe they chose purple because their eyes work best on purple wavelengths, huh? Wow, that's very... I'm very disappointed in the Universe Sandbox team because clearly this is highly racist to, to aliens that see with a purple light. Terrible. Horrible. All right. Let's go ahead and try to make this a challenge. Let's, let's do if habitable and try to make it habitable. Fantastic. Uh, it's currently two times the size of Earth. That's actually not terrible. Um, that's not the worst. We we can actually work with that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead to the composition and we're gonna give it a little bit of a bigger iron core just for the sake of pretending that it has a uh, gravitational, not gravitational, magnetic field. Triangle. Look at how nice it looks. All right, and then we, we're gonna add a little, I think there's actually enough water because it's covered in ice. Um, but the next thing we're gonna do is definitely add an atmosphere. Atmospheres are pretty important for life. All right, let's go to surface. Let's go to atmosphere. Um, and let's set it to one Earth atmosphere. Great, so that should protect the planet uh, from radiation, it should keep it heating, it should do all sorts of things. Um, obviously we don't have it going around a star, but we're gonna just manually set the average surface temperature to 20, and it doesn't really matter, it's still pretty damn- What is going on? I don't know, this is a really odd looking planet. It looks like there's just something like striations in it. That's kind of neat. The poles are definitely cold though, and it's slowly, slowly losing heat. We're gonna go ahead and turn this up. Well, the minimum temperature is just so low. We're gonna set it to zero. Why is this just a, such a strange looking planet? My God. Okay. Um. I guess we're gonna increase the water a little bit to try to get some sort of continental features. It's just tiny little islands everywhere. That's like what I imagined Spook Vooper to be. Huh. Very neat. I wonder if it destroys the lights if they're underwater. That would make sense. But again, maybe we have an Atlantis species. Who would know? Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and make this look kind of how I'd expect it to. So middle, we'll make green top will make light green and low we will make orange oh look at that wait why are the poles like the best places to live why are the poles warm what is going on here no the poles are cold 
then why is this all what is it this just that elevated but no that's that can't be that because it must just be really elevated oh look there's like a streak of the this is really odd the elevations on this planet i'm i'm very confused oh oh and look it's habitable we can actually see oh look at that that is beautimus beautimus fantastic it's like a pill that you take to live forever, but it's literally an entire planet. Don't forget to take your Minax daily for full effects. Consume as shown. Okay, that's you need to be a big boy to consume, consume Minax. Uh, let's try to find a random, not a star. Damn. Actually, this is a really small star. <laughs> That's a, quite a small star, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not crazy. Like, look at the sun <laughs> compared to it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab what I'm looking for, which is a planet that could actually eat this. Nope. Nope. Oh, that's gonna be close. That's gonna be really damn close. We'll see what happens with this. Yeah, let's put it here for extra dramatic effect. So our beautiful alien planet, and then we'll make this one uh, a like living planet too. But this one is inhabited by sentient machines. Who will win? Terminator planet. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Or the other one. Oh damn, there really aren't that many lights on this. There's just not many good places to live. Oh, we got some over here. Very nice. I remember the first time I uh, I made a video. The first time I discovered that lights would randomly spawn. It was kind of like an Easter egg. They never like said they were there, but I found them and I was like, oh, oh wow. Alien life isn't that exciting, and it is exciting. Look at that. It just this game is really a looker. Like if you wanted to like make art for another game or something, although I think there is actually a licensing issue with that. I'm pretty sure Universe Sandbox does limit what you can do with pictures made from the game. Someone warned me about that once, and I was like, I don't think they'll yell at me over using it for like my channel and stuff, but if you're like a professional artist, you may want to look into that. Look at this collision point. Wow, they are really just grazing by each other. Instantly, we can see a lot of damage a lot of damage across the planet and honestly these uh cities are about to get hit pretty damn hard look at that fragment oh god it's gonna hit the city oh no never mind never mind it's going real high maybe they will uh survive not really because their planet is literally smacking into another this one is spinning which is causing a lot more damage this guy is just getting absolutely somo somo is getting ripped apart I think Minax is winning because of this, but I can't really tell. It looks like Somos may actually be a tiny bit larger, which is going to be a big issue. Damn. Look at the amount of, like, detail we have here. We've got the, the cities on this planet, the cities on this planet, massive explosion. The marks left across. This game is just absolutely breathtaking sometimes. Alright. We don't really know what's going to happen here, but I'm putting my bets on Somo. But because I don't want Somo to win, because I didn't put any effort into it, I'm going to cheat and use my god powers to slightly decrease its mass. And by slightly, I mean quite a bit. There we go. So now it's a smaller one. I mean, this is still going to engulf. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Imagine living, being an alien and living... Oh god, the lag. <laughs> living on this planet. You're just... you. The news is like... You've known for years at this point that a planet's going to strike yours, but you know it's going to be today. And then you see the sky light up like this. Look at that. Wow, imagine all around you, you just see this. Oh no! Oh, the moment. We captured the moment. Damn. The exact moment with, when everything was destroyed. Oh, that's unfortunate. It would be a humbling experience. Wait, what? Why, why are you not... 
the eating okay there it goes oh man i mean there is no surviving that it went through it it went through it <laughs> what is happening oh my god why does it just keep going through each other damn wait somo survived what i'm so confused how did that happen it's really really freaking bright though oh oh my god the sentient machine race they they survived look the cities because they're sentient machines they can handle the heat oh so unfortunate they've they've wiped out life and although they're probably gonna melt I don't think they're gonna make it much longer. Oh, maybe it's actually cooling down. Damn. Now that's dramatic. The amount of damage done to their planet. Was it worth it? Plot twist, they actually steered their planet into the other one to try to, like, absorb it. Wow. We learned a lot today, kids. Don't make machines angry because they will eat your planet fun fact of the day well thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this i hope you hit that subscribe button and i hope you consider becoming a patron so that i can continue making great content roll credits